Good morning, LinkedIn family. Welcome to another Follow Friday. Um, today on Coffee with Bob, I am very, very happy and pleased to be welcoming Dr. Jen Price. Uh, Dr. Jen and I are, 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 Dr. Price and I, or Dr. Jen, and she'll tell you if that's okay, are relatively new connections. We, we connected through another person, and um, I got to say, it, it, it's very interesting. Um, Jen, thank you, Dr. Price, sorry. <laughs> thank you so much for uh, joining me on Coffee with Bob. Um, I'm certainly very excited to be learning what you're working on. Well, thank you for having me today, Bob, and you can just call me Dr. Jen, that's fine. Okay. Well, I get confused because my, my niece is a doctor as well, and her name is Jen. She's Dr. Jen. So I was like, well, wait, <laughs> keep expecting to see my niece. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you're working on, Dr. Jen. Sure. Uh, let me lead off by saying I'm an educator and a counselor with over 20 years of experience. I've helped students and their families map a plan for career success. And I've visited over 200 colleges and universities across the nation and I've helped families win over $15 million in scholarships. So that's me in a nutshell. Wow, very um, cool. And so I'm very excited today to share a little bit about uh, my book. Uh, my new book is called Generation Edge, Your GPS for Career Success. I'm so excited um, that it is, it is out and available. Um, I wrote it uh, as a way to share some of my personal stories uh, regarding my journey to a place of fulfillment and, and career success. But I also shared it from the perspective of these are some tips, some, this is some advice, these are some recommendations that I feel will help students as they're making decisions about, you know, what's next for them after high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also included some activities for them as well to help them with the clarity. Very cool. That, that's awesome. And then, it, you, know, you know, that that's a it's a great place to be, because I, I think especially today in this COVID world, uh, I can't imagine my, my children are all grown. They're adults. I'm having grandkids at this point in my life. I can't imagine navigating what to do for college in today's world. Right. So how, how do you advise parents or students, you know, in this COVID age? It is so complicated, <laughs> it is so complicated right now. Um, but I will say, you know, we're all doing the best that we can. Uh, things are quite different with the shift to online learning. I know students and families have struggled with that. Uh, my PhD is actually in online learning. And so I, I really understand um, some of the nuances of what's um, not working well with online learning and why mm -hmm. students and families are struggling so much. But in this age of COVID, I mean, we're dealing with the economy as well, and families uh, struggling financially. And so the cost of college um, has previously been a deterrent, but even more so now, it's a concern. Yeah. Um, the other piece is the competitiveness of the admissions process. It's not as easy as filling out a front sheet of a page. Now it's online, several virtual pages, asking for information like extracurricular activities, clubs, um, and sports, as well as community service, essays, recommendation letters. It's a lot more complicated and more competitive overall. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Um, and are you finding that students are turning more to athletics to try and have that be their pathway into school? Well, it is a great way to um, try to cut the cost of, of college if they're able to go on an athletic scholarship, but it's really tricky now with COVID in mm -hmm. terms of even being able to compete and even, you know, earlier this year, some some teams were not even able to compete at all. Right. And so that's really thrown a curveball, <laughs> so, so to say, um, in their plans of going on athletic scholarship. And so really, I, I encourage students from as young as seventh grade to think about, you know, what are some ways that you might be able to cut the cost of college down the line and make some decisions accordingly? Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Um, I haven't put three kids through college back in the day, so to speak, because like I mentioned, they're adults. Um, you know, we found that no matter how much we put away, we never saved enough. We couldn't save enough. It was almost impossible, especially with three kids. Um, you know, what type of vehicles do you do you suggest to parents who are having kids now, right? And you know, the cost of college is just going that way, right? But our but our incomes are kind of going that way. <laughs> So what do you tell parents to prepare? Well, I will say that there are some colleges who are trying to be responsive to what's happening in the economy. Like, for example, some private schools that have lowered the cost of 
tuition to more align with that of a public institution. And, and so that there are have been there have been some price breaks in terms of tuition costs. But overall, I tell parents and students, you know, really you want their, your child to have more of an idea about what direction they're heading before you make that investment. Now, this is not a good time to send them off to college to kind of explore majors when, when money is so tight. Uh, take advantage of community college. Mm -hmm. If your student is trying to do a little bit more uh, exploration in terms of what's a good fit for them. Career testing is also a great idea to determine if it makes sense to send them to community college, community college right away or to go ahead and try to encourage them to look at a four-year institution. Awesome. Now, so tell me a little bit more about your book. That's pretty cool. Sure. Um, well, some of the things that are in the book, I share a little bit about my upbringing, which I think is a little bit unique. Um, I was raised in a single parent home. However, my single parent was my father. Oh. And he raised four girls by himself. God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was very interesting. He had to learn how to cook. And, you know, of course, you know, he did the cleaning and he tried to learn how to comb our hair, but I'm not sure that he quite mastered that. <laughs> and he was very supportive in terms of encouraging us to be involved in school and, and, and also uh, go on to college. And so, he taught us that education was a way up. And so I have that to thank him for. That's awesome. Uh, and believing in us. And so I talk a little bit about some of the things that he shared with me and my sisters as we grew up and how it made a difference, how it helped me to, um, when I'm when faced with discouragement, how to keep going. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. So one of the things that helped me keep going was I, I wanted to go uh, to college, but we didn't know how we were gonna pay for it. And so one of the things that happened um, when I was growing up was someone told me that I could not get a full ride scholarship. And I really knew that that needed to happen for me to go. And because of my dad teaching me, I could do anything that I set my mind to. I disregarded that feedback and went on and, and earned two full ride scholarships. Wow. My, my bachelor's and my master's degree. Awesome. So that's just an example uh, from the book of one of the life lessons that he shared with me. And then, of course, I share some activities as well. Um, more activities are available in my online course, College Edge. But my book is uh, Generation Edge, Your GPS for Career Success. Wow. Do you, do, you have, do you have a copy of the book with you so you can show it off? I don't have it with me uh, right now. Is I'm in available? the place of submitting to Amazon, uploading oh. the book cover and the pages and awesome. waiting for a copy to be in my hands. And I can't wait. That's like my Christmas gift <laughs> to myself, a copy of my book. Well, so, all right. So we're going to have to have you back on when that book is released so we can, uh, I, I would look forward to it. I, I love reading anyways. and I love reading success stories like this. Um, I, I want to thank you for being on. We, we definitely want to have, tell everybody that website again of yours. Let's, let's talk about that real quick. Sure. If, if you want to take a peek at the book, it's mygenerationedge.com. You can take a look at it there. Uh, and if you want to look at my online course, which is strategies to help students actually start applying for college, that's called College Edge. So it's mycollegeedge.com. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm on social media at Dr. Jen Price. I'm on, of course, I'm on LinkedIn, but I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Awesome. And I do want to connect with you. Very good. Yeah, I, I highly recommend um, connecting with Dr. Jen. Uh, she's got some amazing stuff out there. Her site is really amazing. I was perusing it myself and almost wishing I had a kid in college again. Um, <laughs> but I'll have her site will be in the comments below. Uh, make sure you're connecting with uh, Dr. Jen. Make sure you follow with her and make sure you definitely engage with her. Um, Dr. Jen, I'm going to be first in line to get that book when it gets out on Amazon. I'm going to send out an alert. And okay. I thank you so much for being on Coffee with Bob. Thank you, Bob. All right. You have a great day. You too. Okay.